Hi, I'm Steve. This is Fran. Today, we're going to rank Thermador versus Wolf, the two top brands in luxury appliances, at least for the moment. Yeah, this is a, uh, a good one and a big one. <laughs> so let's get started right away. So first, let's talk about pro ranges. And we're okay. going to break this down into categories as well. So let's talk about all gas pro ranges. Okay. Um, all gas pro ranges. First of all, there's like a, a volume of work to explain the thermo has got two, the Pro Harmony, which fits in the cabinet, mm -hmm. and the um, Pro Grand, which sticks out, gives you more uh, oven space, and typically on the dual fuel side, gives you more options. On the all gas side, gives you 22,000 BTU burner, the clock, mm -hmm. and in a proof mode, yep. right? For this, it really depends what you want to do. Um, Thermido discontinued their electric grill because yep. nobody uses an electric griddle. They do have their electric, I mean, sorry, electric grill. grill. I'm Correct. sorry, because yeah. no one uses an electric grill. You don't use electric grill. No. <laughs> they have the electric griddle, but Wolf's got the infrared. Infrared is great. It's the same sear element you get on the Lynx grill, and they've got the infrared griddle, so that's better. However, on the Thermador side, you've got a much better burner, I think. Yeah. I, I mean, you get the star burner. It's 18,000 BTU yeah. versus 15. 50, uh, Wolf's on the light side. They're both single convection, but you get the Wi-Fi and you know, the home connect capability, which actually works on the Thermador versus none of that on the Wolf all gas. What do you think? Thermador in all gas definitely competes very well. Uh, like you said, I like the, the burners for sure. That star burner adds a lot of nice heat to the center of the pan, raised up a little bit on so the pedestals for easier to clean for sure. They both simmer very well. Uh, Thermador does it a little bit differently with the extra low on a few of those burners. It has the on-off simmer, mm -hmm. whereas Wolf is kind of that uh, dual stack, but you can simmer on every burner with Wolf, so a little bit more flexibility that way. But yeah, I think you know some of the things, obviously, promotion-wise with the Thermador, you can get some different things as well. If you get the range, you get, can get something else. I think Thermador does a really nice job competing in that all gas segment between the burner style and power and simmer capabilities. Well, it there. depends. If you like to grill a griddle, then 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 you're gonna you're gonna buy the Wolf. Yeah. However, you know Wolf is kind of a dual fuel company. I mean, they've updated their dual fuel range like six times. No, probably probably three or four yeah. anyway. And their dual fuel range is completely different than their all gas range. Now you're talking about twenty thousand BTU and eighteen. You're getting um, the LCD screen to control. You're getting the Wi-Fi capability, Wolf Gourmet, which gives you, you put in what you want. It'll give you time, temperature, and rack position. Um, it gives you that new convection yeah. system, which is now back to fans, but with extended elements called Vertiflow. Um, their dual fuel could be one of the best pro ranges you can buy, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And, and then you're still talking on Thermador. Although I do like, I don't believe that Star or the X8 or any of those burners I think he transferred a pan, pan cooks the food, mm -hmm. my opinion. But the nice thing about the, the star is it's raised so you can really clean under it. Um, but in dual fuel, totally different story in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I think the Wolf's clearly better. Absolutely. Um, and that's the thing, like when you go from the all gas to the dual fuel and Thermador, you're not necessarily gaining a ton there visibly. You know, even like the controls, it's, you know, you're getting that kind of small timer and you get the self clean. Whereas the Wolf, like you said, you get that nice Wolf Gourmet with the touch screen, the guided cooking, nice convection system. But if you're going 48 or 60 and you're going in the Pro Grand, you do get, you do get an induction capability. Mm -hmm. um, and I think induction is better than any burner, any gas burner, even the Blue Star 25,000. And you're getting that steam oven with the warming draw uh, option as well. I, I think steam's absolutely the best yeah. way to cook. No question about it. You know, I, I have a steam oven in my house that I've got to learn how to cook more. But I think it's in terms of reheating and basic cooking for what I do, way better than microwaving, adding moisture. So you have that option in the Thermador. Now, it's arguable whether that steam oven, it's not very intuitive like, mm -hmm. say, a Mila or a Wolf yeah. is, but it is a steam oven. Yeah, so you have that capability, but I still think Wolf or, you know, I would say if you like steam, get a separate steam oven and, and, and you know, that Wolf dual fuel, in my yeah. opinion. So gas, you'd go therm. Gas, I'd go therm. Dual fuel, definitely Wolf. Wolf. And okay. then let's lead right into induction with that. So now... They both have 30 and 36 inch professional induction range options. The ovens now are really the same as their dual fuel ovens. So I think we kind of agree that yeah. Wolf definitely has the advantages there. But what about the tops? Well, the tops are both, the top is new on Wolf where you get the LCD screen 
And I know a lot of people are fearful of LCD screens, but this one's kind of cool because mm. it gives you like, you know, the ability to bridge very easily. It gives you the, uh, it tells you what's on. You have that pause reset yeah. where you can like answer the, put it on pause, answer the door, hit resume, and it goes right back into its settings. Um, you know, bridge elements yeah. on, on either side, but I think the Thermador, you know, has that freedom where, you know, everything is a bridge. And even the even the centerpiece when you go into a 36 and you can change the setting. Like if you want to boil rice, simmer rice, warm rice, you can set the burner to be like three different, yeah. three different configurations. I like that. I'm not sure if I do that. For someone that has value in that, that's a that's a pretty good option. I personally like the interface of the wolf for me, but for someone that really knows how to cook, the Thermidor um, Liberty is an excellent yeah. piece. Makes you look, it makes it look like you at least know what you're doing there. You know, you shift the pan around a little bit. <laughs> I have no illusions. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I completely agree there. I think they're both really good induction tops. I would lean towards Wolf just, I think, with that whole yeah. range itself, yeah. like Wolf Gourmet, the convection system. I'd lean Wolf on the induction range as well. And it's bigger too. Yeah. It's sizably bigger. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd say definitely the wolf in the induction. Okay, so that's gonna do it for ranges. Let's jump into built-in cooking and let's start with wall ovens here. Again, you know, I think the wall oven is basically the the same thing as their their dual fuel pro uh, with the you know the the gourmet, the um, um, you know, the the new convection system, yeah. uh, Wi-Fi capability, which they both have. Uh, I think that's probably one of the best wall ovens we sell that Mila and then the new SKS as well those three from a technology standpoint I like I like the best but I will say that the Thermador reliable but they 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 it's single convection it's kind of basic it yeah. doesn't really give you any options except when you want options because if you want um you know we're sitting in a Thermador kitchen you would think I would know um, you get the side swing, you get a 30 inch steam oven, mm -hmm. which is nice. Yep, the bigger um, size. With bigger size. Uh, you know, you can get all different kinds, speed oven over single oven. Yep. But if we're going to even, uh, I, I would say wall ovens, I think Wolf is demonstratively better. Yeah, I think this is what you said. You know, you're really comparing those dual fuel ovens. I think the Wolf just has it's way more feature driven. The Thermador gives you some, you know, both have options as far as kind of yeah. less expensive and the higher ends. Wolf, you know, Thermador, you have an option with the rotisserie, which is kind of unique with a lot of brands. But yeah, I think the Wolf really is just far and away feature wise and just a, a much better wall oven for sure. And if you're looking for a steam oven, their new steam oven is absolutely incredibly mm -hmm. intuitive. I mean, it's got everything, you know, the problem is I've got a Wolf steam oven and it's the old one with the knobs. I've got to figure everything out and, you know, who has, <laughs> I, I, I just mess a lot of things up, Sam and everything else. But this one, you you, you just hit buttons yeah. where it's absolutely, you know, with the gourmet setting, it is absolutely foolproof. I'm actually exactly. changing my out and paying for it. And just, <laughs> and just sick of dealing with I, the button. I, really, I mean, just. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's an unbelievable it's an unbelievable you know although Thermo is kind of bigger one so it really depends if you yeah use steam or not but I, I I like that new Wolf a lot definitely yeah they they took that gourmet mode and really put that into the steam oven now definitely makes it a lot easier With tons of everything yeah. else too awesome all right so let's jump to cooktops so we'll start with gas cooktops gas cooktops again you're talking B two B two both mm -hmm. both are good I mean I happen to like the Thermador with that yeah. with the with the big burner in the middle. But you're not really getting anything much else. Um, but in terms of cooktops, I happen to like, I just happen to like that big star burner in the middle. Myself. Yeah, I agree. And I think Thermador has always had a nice layout with the cooktop, the star yeah. burner, the extra low. I think Thermador makes a really nice gas cooktop. Yeah. So I'd lean Thermador there as well. And then induction cooktops. Well, again, it really depends what you value. I happen to think, I mean, I love the Liberty and the freedom is really nice when you move yeah. it back and forth and everything else. Um, but I just, for me, and again, you know, you may be different. I, I love the Liberty feature. I know I would never use it, um, but I really love that LCD interface. It just makes everything easy. I like the pause resume. You know, you get the bridges on either side. Again, you don't have the Liberty kind of technology, but I, I think from a control standpoint, I, I think it's demonstrably better. 
Yeah, and I, I think that again, both really good solid induction cooktops, but I think I do like the layout and the controls of the of the new Wolf. They did a really nice job with yeah. it. And you have those kind of four, and on the 36 inch, yep. you have those four burners right there. And then the kind of the one offset burner there too. I think just easy to use, a lot of room. The controls are super easy. And that is for someone that's getting into induction. That is always the one, it's always those controls and it's a lot different than what they're used to. Mm -hmm. So I think Wolf did a nice job making those really easy to use there too. So. Sounds like we're going Wolf. Refrigeration. Although I, I will say that, you know, the Wolf, the Wolf's new, brand new. Um, the good thing about um, any kind of Bosch induction, whether you're talking about Gagano, Thermidor, Bosch, always number one reliability by a long shot. Yeah. I mean, you don't have any problems with, with, with a induction cooktop. Now, ranges are totally different because, you know, you're using more of the circuit and anytime you get a surge, that's a problem. But mm -hmm. in terms of the cooktops, in, in, incredibly reliable, really okay. reliable. Refrigeration? We're talking about Sub-Zero. You know, you're talking about a company that's got compressor top, made to look like a restaurant. If, if you want one of those two, they're pro versions and they're integrated. You're talking about tons and tons of options versus really what sells in the Thermidor or either the two, the, 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 the two piece freedom or just their their French door. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think Sub Zero is is probably the best one of the best appliance, certainly the best luxury appliance you can buy. But it, you know, we're, we're talking about these, you know, kind of like comparisons. You know, you are going to pay more Sub Zero Wolf than you are yeah. Thermidor, although not as much as in years past. Mm -hmm. I, I do like the Thermidor. I like their stainless steel interiors. Um, you know, I like the bins, but I just think. You know, from an air cleaning standpoint, you know, they've got the air scrubber, they got the nanotechnology shelves. If you spill something, as my kid always does, it stays on that shelf. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, it doesn't go through the fridge. Um, I like the construction better. Um, I just think it's a better fridge. Although I, I do think Thermidor with the one, two free, there's something to be said for that. And I think it's a good refrigerator as well. Yeah, absolutely. Pro you know, probably the, the the next most popular refrigerator, other than the Sub Zeros. And like you said, it's really they both have columns, kind of those integrated columns. But then once you get to that kind of the bottom mount, it is really a story of that kind of professional compressor up top style versus the more integrated yeah. compressor on the bottom. And that's just really different styles of refrigeration. You know, the Thermidor now this year has is now starting to come out with forty two and forty eight inch French doors, just yeah. like. Sub Zero. Sure, sure. Yeah. Sub Zero has a lot more options in kind of traditional side by sides as opposed to just columns that you're not going to get with Thermidor. Um, so, really, they both have a ton of variety. I think the history and, you know, just that with Sub Zero, it's really hard to beat a Sub Zero refrigerator. Although Thermidor, like you said, really, really great. Yeah, I, I like the new 42 and 48. It's, yeah. it's, I wasn't expecting it. It doesn't have the compression on the top. It's more integrated yeah. in its look, different stylistically. Definitely. Um, I, still, I still like a Sub Zero yeah, fridge. Yeah, I go Sub Zero as well. And then final category is going to be dishwashers. Well, this is easy. I mean, you only got one. It's the code. <laughs> yeah. And I and I like the dishwasher. It's it's twenty five hundred dollars, and you get a fifteen hundred dollar rebate if you buy everything else. That's their rebate. So it's a thousand for thousands. Probably the best dishwasher you can buy. At twenty five hundred, debatable. No one's going to buy that mm -hmm. singularly. You know, with a lot of good Bosch Thermidor, it's that's an easy one. I mean, we we're giving that away free. But that's just <laughs> you know, just so people know, that's. That's kind of like a less than even basic Bosch. You know, it's 48 decibels, which means it doesn't, it, it's, it's, you're going to hear it. Typically, the one that people buy is the 44 decibel mm -hmm. one. But they took all the fun star speeds and the 20 minute wash and dry cycles. They took those away um, um, during the pandemic mm -hmm. and they haven't brought them back. So I would say that the Cove's a better dishwasher, but it's hard to beat free or $500 or one of those. Yeah. So, I would say from that standpoint, and if you're looking at Thermidor, you, you got to say Bosch, it's probably Cove's a better dishwasher, but hard to beat free. Yeah, absolutely. And Thermidor in general, overall, makes a really, really solid dishwasher yeah, as solid. well. Obviously, it's, it's, it's a Bosch. A, yeah, like you said, yeah, is that a, a lesser version of a Bosch, the equivalent there. A lot of people you can upgrade to kind of the better Thermidor dishwashers as part of their promos, but yeah, agreed there. I mean, Cove has been a great dishwasher too, but I'd probably lean Thermidor there yeah. too. All but, right. So if you like these ranking videos, hit the subscribe button and we'll have more. And thanks for watching.